Welcome to Sharing My Truth with Mel and Susie, the uncensored version, where we bear it all. We do. <laughs> Hello, babes. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to Sharing My Truth. It's Susie, and I'm here with Mel, my good friend, Bestie Mel. And you're listening to Sharing My Truth Pod, where we talk about sexy things and more serious things sometimes. But today is a sexy day. (laughs) And... (laughs) I just want to remind everyone to review and rate this podcast as you would if your had mother had wrote it because you love us like you love your milfs. And uh, follow us on Instagram and all of our um, other socials at Sharing My Truth Pod. Hey, babe. How are you? Hello, darling. (laughs) Um, Was it a large intro for you? Is that too large? No, I I love that intro. I thought that was that was quite excellent. Thank you, darling. Darling. Um. I have nothing to say. Nothing but praise. (laughs) Nothing but praise. I love, I do have a praise kink, so that's perfect. Do you? I do. Wow. Tell me I'm a good girl. Oh, wow. (laughs) I just fell into that, didn't I? You did, and I'm so sorry. (laughs) But we are, we have a fun little episode today because uh, someone wrote in to us. They did. And it's a really good one. It is. And I'm pretty excited. (laughs) to share it with our listeners because it's pretty funny (laughs) it's not very funny for this person it might be maybe he has a good sense of humor i'm not so sure but But anyway it really works for pride month it does it does um it's a big question it's a big question okay we ready for it yeah i'm ready okay so this man wrote in he has a wife and he might be gay Okay. Okay. I had a threesome with my wife and another man. I agreed because she wanted to, but I got so turned on and now I wonder if I'm gay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Our kids were away and we hired an escort. (laughs) Just that bit. I love it. Okay, great. These are parents that I want to be friends with. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but he had a fabulous body. Mm -hmm. It was out of this world. So Mm -hmm. this man kind of seems gay already a little bit. Well. My wife was enjoying it so much Mm -hmm. that she came almost instantly with passion. And to my amazement, I found myself really aroused. Mm -hmm. I now only look at gay porn. And when my wife tries to touch me, I lose my erection instantly. She's not really happy with that. <laughs> I would think so. That's um, intense. Yeah. Right. What? So, is he gay? Well, he can now only get hard from gay porn now. Yeah, but you don't just suddenly become gay, do you? This is why we have to experiment when we are young. young people because this is what happens. You don't give yourself the choices. You don't give yourself the options. Well, yeah, but things come up later in life. I get that. But I mean, it's like you don't, if it hasn't sort of crossed your mind, I mean, surely it would have somehow crossed his mind. He doesn't need to see a naked man. Like if he saw a man that he found attractive, yeah. surely he would somehow know that he was drawn in some way. Like is he saying, and we don't know specifically, that this has only happened in this particular instance, i.e. he had this reason, also he didn't specify whether he had sex with this man. True. We just know that the woman, his wife had sex with the man. And he was very aroused by it. And he was very, yes, but lots of men, lots, that's the basis of porn, for goodness sake. True. Is men and women and men looking at penises going into vaginas. They're looking at dick. I'm sorry to break it to God, you. God, I love a dick. But look at a dick. <laughs> so, <laughs> that does not make them gay. So maybe he was aroused by the scene. And because obviously it was this man then he's aroused by cable. I don't actually think that's a stretch. That doesn't make him gay. It makes him possibly not very aroused by his wife, which is 
I grant you, very problematic. Here's the thing. Like, she wanted to have this threesome. Yeah. He was, yeah, he maybe didn't, wasn't his idea, but he definitely went along with it happily. Mm. You know, like, he was like, okay, well, like, I wonder, I want to know the rules of this threesome. Like, was it an MMF threesome? Yes. Male, male, female threesome? Or was it an MFM? Yes, well, we don't know these details, which are critical to answering the question. Because I so, want to know if, like, did he get a finger in his butt? Did he get a finger in his butt? You know what yeah. I mean? You just well, never know. Well, it sounds to me like it was just the two men doing the woman. It does sound like that, yeah. So, MFM. Hard dicks, I think, are just such a That's what a MFM is, right? Yeah, yeah so MFM. Male, so female, so they're, male. They're not interacting at all. They're yeah. just interacting with the woman, which, yeah, so there's no, like, you know, balls Dick's touching. touching. Dick balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think it's like, it's a very erotic scene. Yeah. He's obviously seen something. I mean, it doesn't get a lot more erotic than that. So he's kind of charged by that. That doesn't make him gay. I mean, if he hasn't, if there was no interaction, then then that's a whole different thing he's he the man he found the man's body very attractive well yeah i mean if you watch porn with men and women yeah. men actually for the most part in most research yes. <laughs> they like they want to see a dick on a screen yes but they're actually not gay they want a dick going into a vagina this is a lovely conversation this is i love it but that they would then not consider themselves to be gay i'd say 99 percent of men watch Dicks penises and vaginas. vaginas. <laughs> it's not their penis, though, is it? No, but they're thinking it is. Of course, that's the point. Yes. So this is a real life version of that. Yes. So that, I mean, the gay porn bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That does throw a bit of a. But here's the thing. It's thing like in the... it's like this escort is obviously gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's obviously, obviously attractive, and so, but not all men are hot male escorts. So it's like maybe he's just never been. Of course. In touch with a man who's this attractive, right? And obviously in gay porn, a lot of yeah, gay men and gay porn, Adonis look at, like super hot, super muscular and toned and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's and kind can, of the point of it. And he says he's like, you know, I, he had a fabulous body. Like he really, he loved the hard, he loved the hard dick. Now there are two levels to this, yes. Susie. Okay, do you want to know my analysis Go ahead. of the situation? Yes, I love it. Okay, so as I've told you before, threesomes are problematic if you have not set the ground rules. Yes. Now I would like to reiterate this is actually really not my bag threesomes, but that's another conversation for another day. <laughs> but if you don't all agree, like if like obviously this the wife wanted to do this because she wanted whatever. She wanted jollies yeah, she, with somebody else. I mean, I think she just wanted the experience of having two men uh, want her, which yeah, is fair enough. So good. Fair enough. Okay. Speaking from experience, <laughs> I'm very sure. But the if he just went, like he says at the beginning in what he wrote in, is that he went along with it. So mm-hmm. he's not averse to the idea and he wants to keep his wife happy and he wants her to be excited and blah, 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 blah. But... It sounds to me, and I could be reading between the lines, that he wasn't completely bought into it. And I think that often that's often the problem yeah. with the threesome, is that the person who's kind of like, oh, okay, I'll kind of do it, then either something something happens that they didn't think about, I, and this is a case, so I know situations like, you know, friends of mine who it's happened, and then they've wanted to go off with the other person, mm-hmm. and they were the person who wasn't really into it. Right. Like, this, like something often happens. And that's the problem. Then now he he really needs to talk to his wife. I'm sorry. Well, what's, what's difficult, right? It's like they're in such a straight relationship that yes. they didn't probably need to think that they had to discuss what if 100%. you really like a man's dick. Like, I doubt that they were even thinking about that. Like, this well, is about you, babe. I want to make you happy. I, I do put your, think, though, you know, I'm sorry. If you're going to have another naked man in your bedroom, yeah. perhaps the conversation of... Do you want to see another making man? What do you think about that? Might have come up. I mean, for the love of God, if you're not going to communicate <laughs> about this, what are you going to communicate? To me, that's just bananas. Yeah. Do you like, what do you think about penises? Would you like one in the bedroom? I think that would have been a really good conversation to have had. Yeah. I mean, call me, you know, old fashioned. but uh, Yeah, but it's just sometimes, I don't know. Do like, not think about these things? It's sometimes, it's just, 
But they planned this. You yeah, you plan this, this but it's like it's not it? like it's like you're cut. This guy's like, oh yeah, I'm coming in. Like yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind a guy in the room because it's about you and uh, we're not gonna touch. Right? This is an F M F M like a cuckolding sort of thing. kind of exactly where it's like yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked. I'm gonna watch. It's gonna be great, and I'm gonna fuck you or whatever the fucking terms are. Yeah, it's never. It I don't think it was ever. I'm going to fuck you, he's going to fuck you, and then I'm going to fuck him. You right. know, I don't think that was ever no. like, because they didn't even think to have that conversation. Well, they should have done. How could you, though, if you're like, I don't know, oh, it's like. please. <laughs> just go on to some websites and have a look at things, for goodness sake. I just feel like if I were to have a threesome with my boyfriend with another man, I just don't think I would do that, personally. But if I was going to do that, I don't think I would ever be like, because he is just very straight. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend, he's very straight. Not that he can't tell when a man is good looking. Of course. But like, there's there's just like, I'm not going to be like, hey, babe, like, do you think you can handle this or are you going to want to suck his dick? Like, (laughs) it's just, I don't know. Like, how? it's not like a question of like, are you sure you're not going to become gay if you see another dick? Because that's not really how it goes. Yeah. So the question is, well, okay. All right. Fair enough. (laughs) But I, I do think, so why... Did did he have a conversation with the wife as his wife as to why she wanted to have another man and have him watch? Because that's another thing. She could have said, I want to have a hall pass, like we said in our last oh, episode. Pass. She actually wanted him to be there seeing the whole thing mm-hmm. going down. So that's going down. That sounded very dubious. Anyway, that is another whole thing. Obviously, he didn't think about, but that's the point. If he's never contemplated or thought about men in that erotic way before seeing a man with no clothes on. I mean, surely he's seen a man without his top on. Yeah. I mean, it's a, to me, like, surely that's crossed your mind at some juncture in some other capacity at some other time. Yeah. And you haven't done anything about it. That is also possible. And he never, he just kind of, it kind of came into his mind and he never did anything about it, pushed it down. You know, he's perhaps more straight than, than his, this sort of, feelings for the same sex so maybe he just never kind of uh, experimented or thought about it or want to think about it and then he's presented with this really erotic scene yeah well yeah because it's so hard right like it's like if let's say the wife let's say the man the husband in the situation Mm. if he if they had brought a woman into the room right 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 and she's like well i'm not a lesbian i'm gonna be fine Maybe we're going to make out or something. I'm not going to go down on her. We're here for you, Mm. the man. We're both going to fuck you. And I'm not going to eat her pussy, but like whatever. It's fine. But then after she sees this beautiful woman naked in bed, she doesn't realize how much she likes the look of a naked woman. Yeah. I mean, I think that doesn't doesn't make her a lesbian. Yeah. And I think it's the huge hypocrisy in the society that we live in. Yeah. Is that if that was the case, everyone would be fine. Yeah. I mean... Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit of a generalization, but there, it, <laughs> Everyone would, it, would it would be it would be easier yes. than your husband saying, "Oh, I fancy a bit of you know dick." Yeah, and they said it exactly. The question here is, if he can't, if if that's what he wants to do, it, in theory, that is not a problem. That if that's who he is, that's who he is. If he doesn't know where he is in that whole kind of scale of things, like yeah. the Kinsey scale that we've talked about before. Does it matter? It only matters if it's a problem for his wife, which I'm assuming Sounds it might like it well is. be. So, I mean, you you kind of got to talk to your wife about this. Well, sh- because she's... going to freak her out, though, I guess. But she's the one who brought this other man in well, there. Well, exactly. The, that's the thing. You have to be so careful with these things. It's like swinging or threesomes or whatever it is. Yeah. You don't know the Pandora's box that you are opening. 100%. And it's... It is a sense of like if you've and I think you're right, if you've never seen things or you've never experimented to a degree and there's a thought somewhere in the back of your mind, of course that's gonna instigate it. Yeah. I mean, does it instigate it if you've never thought about okay, it? Okay, can I tell you a personal story about a threesome? Go on then. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm, okay. I'm so ready. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, Let's so hear it. I in my beautiful high single days, mm-hmm. I I had a few threesomes in my life and I would just remember this one couple we had a threesome and it was kind of it was planned did you know them I knew the guy right. the boyfriend 
and he was dating the super hot girl and she this is like when facebook messenger was really hot <laughs> it's like wow. we all got in like a little facebook messenger group mm-hmm. and we were chatting about it blah blah blah. it's gonna happen we're all gonna meet at a bar we're gonna get a little drunk and then we're all gonna go home together and it's like mm-hmm. blah, blah blah it's fine and obviously it helped that i knew him it wasn't like just some random people some random person, off the yeah. street off the street. and had a threesome it was great it was fine i was like whatever i'm like i'm always i was always happy to be the one who just come into it Mm -hmm. and then get the hell out of there well that's not your problem yeah exactly so after that he kept on messaging me and wanted to hook up with me without her oh no and i was like this is i'm like is she okay with this like does she know that you're still messaging me and i think he was like "Yeah, yeah it's fine and i was like I just don't think it's fine. Like, I also just, like, don't want to hook up with you. Like, this is, like, it's happened because, like, I wanted the experience. Yeah. You guys wanted the experience. I was happy to come in there. But now I don't want to do this. No. And, yeah, it I'm, just kept on going that way. And I'm so, – obviously, they broke up. They've broken up yeah, since then. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's been a very long time. But, yeah, that I think that happens a lot where the guy oh. is just, like – But – and she's – A lot. She was so hot. Like, right. there's not, like, there was, like, this thing where it's, like, I was the – better woman in the bedroom mm. like she was a fox like it wasn't even like a mm. thing like she yeah. was amazing but yeah i don't know like i would have way rather hooked up with her again than him well there you go I'm but uh, i i think that is my feel messenger <laughs> no. that that is definitely the problem yeah yeah because you cannot i mean okay so this is my analysis yes from my point of view I yeah to i have no medical training <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> oh my god no field training either no, no field training. So really, this isn't very helpful. But um, that I think that because humans, and I say this a lot, people are unique. We're all like so individual. We all have such individual feelings that can change on a dime or a, for any reason, mm-hmm. right? Your arousal, like one day can be something, another day can be something else, even in a very beige context, Ooh. right? So... Why do you go into these situations not thinking that something else could happen? Do you understand? You're right. I mean, like there's there's there is no hard and fast rule for anything mm-hmm. in anything in your life, and particularly within like sex and um relationships and emotions. And you can feel something and you have absolutely no idea why you feel that. Yeah. It's dangerous, right? Yes. So you have to be. Well, if it's you're, exciting. Exactly. But if you're going to open the box, yeah. you got to be willing to let whatever's going to fly out of the box. But then you don't know. You don't even know to ask these questions. No, I understand that. But what I mean is whatever is then going to happen, you have got to right. talk about it. You got to be okay you with can't the answers. pretend yeah. it is not happening. So exactly. You got to be okay with the answers. So if that is the case, I really do feel he's going to have to talk to his wife. I mean, I understand that may really freak her out. On the other hand, the fact that she asked her husband to watch her having sex with a male escort and him to participate could have freaked him out. I love it so much. Right? I mean... This could just be trauma. Yeah. (laughs) I mean... This could just be his trauma talking. It could be. You know? It could be. It's like, wait, I don't want to see my wife having sex with another man. I want to have sex with another man instead. Yes. Yes. To get payback. I don't know. It, I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but it's you very, know, it's complicated. It could be anything. I just think that if you are going to go into something, like you say, that it's exciting or new, you kind of have to be on the same page and you both have to know that things are going to happen that you may not know will happen. And I agree with you. You're not necessarily going to ask a question because you know what the question is. Yeah. But you kind of have to accept that possibly this is going to take a turn for the better for the worse for the different for whatever the outcome is probably going to be different yeah to the income no to the <laughs> to the what you know so that's the thing and then you kind of have to discuss this you can't just go oh yeah that happened and just shove that under the carpet to me that is crazy because if you are so open-minded this is where i find this almost bizarre and amusing amusing is not the right word is if you're so open-minded that you're willing to do that a you can talk about it b you can do it what do you mean you can't talk about it at the end of it people like to act before they can think though yeah this is why i'm this is why a lot of i'm not gonna say all obviously this is why a lot of unplanned pregnancies happen right yeah, they want to have sex. No one has a condom. She's not on birth control. They're like, oh, of course, fuck it's it. The easiest thing in the I'm world. I'm not ovulating. She thinks 
and then she gets pregnant and a baby pops out but well, you know i love so it. easy I love it. <laughs> so easy like out. that they definitely didn't pop out but anyway that's a- <laughs> but like you know there's, there's just a lot of things especially with sex yeah because it's all about feeling there's nothing mental really like there's nothing yeah. logical about it but that's it. what i'm saying it's like you could be and I think women are really like this. Like you can be, it's Monday, this turns me on. Yes, it's Tuesday. There's, absolutely. there's no like, okay, it's the same thing. I want to have salad every day of the week. It's not 100%. like that. It's like it changes. And for no apparent reason, uh, visually or audibly, like y- whatever. It's just your body, your mu- whatever. It's psychological. I mean, it's different yeah. for women than for men. This is like what happens whenever anyone asks if, what kind of porn I watch. I'm like, Literally everything. I don't know what to tell you. It, it could be anything depending on the Depending on the right. Monday, Tuesday, but Wednesday, Thursday. That is actually very, um, I don't want to say normal because normal is the wrong word, but that's, that's human. It's regular. Yeah, regular. <laughs> Just ordinary, <laughs> small ordinary. No, that's human. That's what humans are like. Yeah. So I would say, I don't specifically have an answer to this other than you really need to talk to each other. And I'm afraid the wife has to be okay to hear some stuff she may not want to hear, which yeah. is that my husband kind of likes men. However, then if they're into this whole kind of yeah, thing, exactly. they can go into other very erotic whatever. Yeah, another man in and, there and, and a woman. Exactly. And who fucking cares? Exactly. I mean, and I, it's, it's almost not really fair that she got to have the man, is it? Well, now he wants the man. Yeah. I mean, now they have to share, which sucks yeah, all sometimes. they can do, they can MMF. They all, they all fuck. All the holes are filled. Oh, that's so nice. Did you write that? that was beautiful. Uh, Mel. I, I think that's a good way of putting it. I think you should write children's think. books. Yeah, I think that's an excellent <laughs> way of putting it. And then everyone's happy, and everyone's involved. However, <laughs> that is a question that I would, if you've hired a sex worker, escort, whatever the situation is. I guess that person has to specifically do that. And maybe this person didn't. I'm sure it did. I'm you sure think he, he's yeah. like covering all the bases. I'm sure he's covering all of the holes. And all bases. of the holes. Yeah. Anyway, so the, you have to talk to each other. You have to talk before. I think the only conversation you can have is you do not know what's going to happen. But you have to be open to the possibility that stuff will happen. The after conversation. Yeah. That yeah. it may be like wildly off what you thought it would be. Yeah. And you, if you're going to open this kind of erotic box, Ooh. you've got to be willing yes, to listen to the fact that it's not exactly your erotic box, if you get my drift. Listen to the facts. Yeah, the facts. And we've got some. Well, my facts really are, um, we've talked about this before, about the Kinsey scale. Yeah. So have you taken this Kinsey scale? Have I taken it? Have you taken the test? You haven't. No, maybe I should. You absolutely should. Because, you know, you could be more bi than you think. You could be raging bisexual. You could be a raising, a raising, a raging lesbian. I could be. So you're telling me it's a possibility. If Max was like, I want to bring another man in here Mm -hmm. for you. You're going to say no to that? Yes, I am, Susie. (laughs) Really? No, thank you. Sure. It's way look at her. Look what at if her. he's look like at... a gorgeous thirty-year-old escort with a huge dick? Well, <laughs> she's thinking about very it. Expensive. She's thinking about it. <laughs> well, well we're only expensive. getting the most expensive That's escort. True. That's true. Well, yeah. Okay. It's like your fifty-first birthday present. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> You're okay. welcome. <laughs> yeah, that, thanks, Susie. <laughs> Go ahead, love. Yes. So, um, as we know, the Kinsey scale was created by uh, the, the famous sex researcher, Alfred Kinsey. Now, it was called the heterosexual homosexual rating scale. Mm. And it was initially for men. Yes, so, it was in... Why uh, would women be involved Sexual in behavior in the human male in, in 1948. And it does... It was recognized to have its limitations. I think some of the limitations were the fact that Kinsey quite like men. This is like, a raging homosexual. Yeah, I think that was quite... He was married, but a raging homosexual. Um, it, but it was groundbreaking at the time. 
And it is the idea that there is a scientific scale to suggest that human sexuality and sexual attraction are a continuum and not limited solely to heterosexual or homosexual orientations. So I do, I mean, it's this idea that we think society has created this idea that you are a woman, therefore you are interested in men and you're in this box and you're female and, you know, so on. And you are a man and you're in this box or you're gay and you're in this box. And mm-hmm. that none of these boxes in any way ever cross No, it's over. more like a Venn diagram. Yeah, which is completely mad. I mean, it, that you'd think that there isn't some kind of gradation of people who want different things or who are a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of the other. A little bit of dick, a little bit of vagina. Yeah, but all want. different like variations. Like you, you identify as bisexual, but your identifying as bisexual is going to be different to the next person, next woman's. 100%. So you may feel, yes, I'm bisexual, but I actually prefer my, what do they call it, nesting partner to be a male. I didn't even know they called that my nesting partner. Wow. I got them. So it's, it sounds good. I got them somewhere. I nesting. Correct, but I think that's pretty good. Like your main person yeah, that you live and nest with, right? Yes. You have your thing. With swans. I think it's actually polyamorous couples that call in that. But anyway, on to other things. Whereas you may be bisexual where you want your main partner to be a woman and you kind of have a man who's not, the person you live with i can never date a woman oh my god we're exhausting i did say that to my husband the other day to max i was saying can you imagine like women were so drama like i have two daughters so i have there's lots of women in my house and the drama so i think if a woman dates a woman that must be a lot it's just exhausting that's what i think I, I mean, just I, you know, exhausting. no basis for this thought. I whatsoever. just like them for sex. I understand the sex object thing. You right. are a sex object right. to right. me. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but rather than actually having a relationship, yeah. it must be, on the one hand, much more intense because women are much better at communicating and so But on the other hand, True. much more filled with drama. Yes. Because they just want to fucking talk about everything. Right. Like, please stop is, talking is to that me. Is an yeah. accurate analysis 100%. of the situation? 100%. But that's the point I'm making. So you're bisexual, but somebody else who could say, as I'm also a bisexual woman, but I feel it on a totally different level. Absolutely. And then you could have a man who's bisexual and he feels it on a totally different level. This is the point of the Kinsey scale. I took the Kinsey scale and you need to take it. So what did your Kinsey scale say? I am smack dab in the middle. Are you really? I am apparently, but right. What does that mean? Smacked up in the middle. I think it's just like you enjoy. I don't know. I took it a while ago, but like you enjoy men and women the same range. Okay. You know, so like women turn me on just as much as men turn me on. Okay, things like that. In a not on an emotional level. Yeah, but I think that's just a personal, not to do with the Kinsey scale kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. I think Kinsey is just sex, right? Yeah. Because I feel like. Yeah, like I, I want to be with men who will, because they're big and strong and will take care of me and make me feel like a little baby. Right. But like, right. Yeah, I don't know. Girls just don't give me that same kind of romantic yeah, I, feeling or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I see what you mean. So Kinsey found that 37% of men he interviewed had a same sex experience sometime between adolescence and old age, a rate that jumped to 50% for unmarried men by the age of 35. That does seem like quite a lot. Mm-hmm. That that uh, that thirty five, thirty seven percent of the men he interviewed. I think that's where that's a lot of men. That's a big percentage. But I think there was some. I could be wrong, and please don't quote me. But I think there was some after he did this research. There was some. Um, what's the word? Doubt as to like whether those figures were sort of really accurate. But I think the overall thing, and I, th- you know. It, it it's there's now the Kinsey Institute and all of that, um, which I believe is in Indiana. I think the is Kinsey it? Institute. Are oh, they yeah. just are they just bisexuals just I'm roaming gonna, around? Gonna, like I'm what's gonna, going I'm on? Go, I'm going to Google it now, right now. It's no, it's like a a research institute for bisexuals. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> you fucking bitch. No, she she's got her <laughs> mind just the Kinsey Institute. At Indiana University has been trusted source of scientific knowledge and research and critical issues, issues. in sexuality, gender, and reproduction. So it's it's a, it's the, bisexuals. The... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is, we're just gonna yeah. Um, the point is is that everyone is different, and the scale is to prove that you could be a little bit 
a little bit more, a little, little, little bit more, a little, little bit little more bit. than a bit more, or a bit more than a bit more. Wow. All right. So you could be any of those things. And you, me, and the next person are all going to be different, even though we identify ourselves as whatever it is. But even within that identification, it's going to be different. I'm talking about sexuality here. Got it. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? No, I love it. I love when your just eyes get big when you start going on something, and it's like my favorite thing about you. Yeah. I love it. Nobody can see my eyes because we haven't filmed this. So no, <laughs> she's got gorgeous it's, little blue babies. It's by really the way, not that interesting. No, I love but, it. Um, anyway, back to our poor yes. r- writer inner <sighs> stroke guy. listener. I I really actually I do feel for him. I really do because I think. I think it's a slightly scary situation. Well, I think slightly is probably underestimating it. I think it's quite a scary situation for men because this is something he's feeling on a different level that he had no idea that he was going to feel. And that is somewhat terrifying. Yeah. And then if he goes into that feeling and does whatever, whatever does more about it and his wife is not into it, it's going to blow his whole life up. Yeah. And I know we've talked before about we ha- um, actually had a listener who wrote in about it was a – it was a female, it was kind of the other side mm-hmm. of things. I th- I think it. I'm not underestimating that this is a this is huge and this is kind of terrifying, and but I really do think you need to talk about it, and you need to talk to your wife, and maybe you can find a way of her allowing you to experiment with whatever it is that you're interested in, with her present, with her consent, and mm-hmm. so on. And then maybe from that, you can figure out what it is you want to do. Because I do think that you've been very open-minded to to kind of do what your wife wanted and to organize that. There's a lot of organization, getting kids out of the house and hiring escorts and all that. That's not, you know, that's not nothing, is it? That's not just, that's not like, you know, making a nice meal on a Friday night. That's like a lot of organization. And you've gone through the thoughts and... And maybe, obviously, you didn't realize where this was going to go. But, you know, I think you can talk to your wife. I mean, I would obviously perhaps not have that conversation all in one go. Well, I mean, maybe you just invite the escort back in (laughs) and see what happens. And be like, hey, maybe we just bring him back in for round two. And then you talk about it with the escort there. We got to pay for that. Yeah, you got to pay for it. You're already paying, though, you know? Right. So you might as well just get a little go. And then if it doesn't actually do anything for you, if he didn't actually have sex with him the first time, and then maybe he gets a little closer the second time, doesn't actually want it, then he knows he's not exactly gay. But what if he does? Well, then there you go. You have a conversation. And what, and what if his wife is, like, freaked out by it? I think you got to you gotta try before you buy Try before you buy. Wow. Wow. We already had the little taste, and now we want the whole menu. we don't know how menu. much. We're assuming not, not much taste if he's just talking about the way his body looks. Well, he just had a little, you know. Well, I think he just had a, a sort of live poncho, really. Yeah. And, and he's get and, and he's, I, th- I think it's pretty normal to be excited by that i kind of want to know if he wants to be fucked by this guy or if he wants to fuck this guy because i think those are two fuck very different things like if you're a, if you're a straight male like mm-hmm. if you want to be like if that's what you think you are a straight mm-hmm. male and you all of a sudden want to be fucked by a guy i think that says something but if you're like thinking that this it does you, just, you know what i mean if you just want to if you want to fuck this guy penetration is a lot different than getting penetrated well, I I do have something to say about that. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not the actual act of penetration, actually, because, you know, as we know, you can buy all these dildos that you can put up your bum hole yeah, sure. and everything and your prostate and all prostate massages and all that sort of stuff. It's actually the person who's sticking the thing up your bum hole. True. So it, if your wife is putting said thing up your bum hole. True. Totally. You're into the feeling of your prostate and the fact that you're like women. Do you get my... You I do. My no, I presence? love it. If 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 you want a man to do that, you want the, the, the yep. body of a man, the sexual feeling of the way a man feels, all that stuff to do the thing in... The bowl. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Yes. You might have um, a, 
yeah. may maybe a there may be a little bisexual. gay problem. Yeah. I mean, I I think that's what it is. It's not about going in the bum hole because that's just about mas- massaging your prostate. That's, that's right. nothing. It's who's on the other end of the thing going into the bum hole. How's that for a way? I of love a good in? Mel insight. <laughs> that was true, beautiful, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you so. if you like the thing, the person, the thing. If you like the person who's doing it, I you are attracted to the male form. Yeah. To the way a man looks, the way a man smells, et cetera, et cetera. You want to be sucking his balls? You're a little gay. <laughs> Well, I think, <laughs> yeah, you're a little bisexual. You, there's there's more going on, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Or this could very well be a situation where he has seen something that's very erotic. It's kind of an experiment. He kind of maybe wants to try a little bit more. And then that's it. It's just It's just an experience. It's not his lifestyle. Yeah. If it becomes his lifestyle, that's a whole different conversation. Yeah, because I mean, you, well, you can watch all the porn you want out there. It doesn't mean you want any of it. Of course not. Of it's course all not. a fantasy. 100%. We've always, we've talked about that we've in the past that. episode. But yeah, it's just, it's just something you maybe want to experiment with and 100%. try and experience. But yeah, maybe you don't want a dick in the bum. <laughs> with a man at the other end With of another dick. man. Because it could be a plastic dick. You're right. It could. They can be very realistic nowadays, <laughs> but um, but if you didn't want a dick, you didn't have to have a dick. That's true. You know, but that's if true. you want a dick, you want a dick, and there's I nothing wrong you, with you that. Can get an emoji shaped penis nowadays. Oh, I mean, good. You can get all you I've ever wanted is an eggplant in my pussy. So. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate that. Um, are we done here? Yeah, I think we are. Oh God! Like thank that. God. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, <laughs> I do feel for you, though. I uh, I yes. do. I'm I'm. But please talk to your wife. I think his man's going to figure it out. I think he, I think he's confused, but in the way of like, it's exciting what he's going through. So he's found something else that is 100%. exciting and attractive. And understand. So this is my last, please word, my yes. last point on this please. is that you are grown ups. You went into this situation that is very not beige. Oh yeah. Right? Is very adventurous. Oh yeah. So be grown ups. It's gone a little bit of a different way. Maybe your wife doesn't know. Have a conversation. I think you can handle it because you've gone into something. You're already in the adventure. It's just taken a different road, different whatever. I think you need to talk about it and maybe carry on in your adventure and have some fun. Yes, Mel. There are worse things in life. Yeah. Snaps to that. That is my final word on I love it. it. And maybe That's all I have to say. Why don't you just buy yourself a dildo? Go to vibrator.com. Absolutely. V I B R A T O R dot com. Use the code MS15. You could buy a dildo. Absolutely. That is the best idea you've had all day. 50% Susie, off. Is go and try it with a toy. Then there's no man attached or exactly. woman attached. You don't have to give it like a cheating. go. Yes. And then see, it could just be the feeling. Could be anything. Get but yourself that's a dick. Ver- that's a very good, a very good idea. And gift me one too. Okay, I'm ne- I'm in need of a new one. Oh really? Yeah, and yeah, always. Okay. Anyway, so that's all we have to say on this. But thank you very, very thank much, you so much for everyone. sharing. And we will speak to you all very soon. Thanks for sharing. Share with us at Sharing My Truth Pod on our Instagram, and you can also leave us a voicemail on our website at SharingMyTruth.com, and you can talk to me and Mel straight to us get our advice get our opinions you might be on the pod you might and we will reply we will reply and you can also be anonymous you can say you want to be anonymous and that's cool too and we love you guys see you next time see you next time bye thanks so much for listening please rate and review this podcast and follow us on social at sharing my truth pod and leave us a voicemail on our website sharingmytruth.com to share your stories and experiences with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.